Welcome back to Red Dead Online. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. We're going to be continuing our journey as a naturalist in Red Dead Online today, and we're going for the purest route to start things off, which means we're going to be hunting and studying the animals and knocking them out and getting samples, but we will not be murdering them for their pelts to begin with. Eventually, we'll go down that road to get some of the new clothing items that you can get and trinkets as well. Um, but today, we are going to be continuing the purest route. And we're going to be hunting some legendary animals. Now, we would like to get, I believe it's a legendary fox that's up near Coulter. And it has a really, really interesting pattern to it. Now, what's really cool about this role is they will be adding legendary animals each week. Similar to how they updated the game with legendary uh, bounty hunts for the bounty hunter. And of course, we got disconnected. So we're starting to head up near Coulter. And I just wanted to take a little bit of a better look at this legendary map that we acquired. Because this is going to give you the general location of all the legendary animals that are available, I guess, for this week or this month. I'm not exactly sure what the time frame is going to be. Um, but it is definitely, like, right over Coulter. So we know that's kind of the area that we want to go in. Now, this by no means... No way means? There we go. Words are a little bit difficult today, I suppose. Um, that is going to be there no matter what. We don't know what the respawn timers are for these legendary animals. And we don't exactly know if there's any spawn requirements either. So we're going to go up there and we're going to basically kind of just see if we can track any down. See if there's anything that we can do to help spawn these. I have a feeling it's probably will spawn during certain times of the day. But obviously if somebody's already gone to that location recently and murdered it, then there's a solid chance it might not be there. But hopefully we get lucky. I've decided to kind of just go in on foot and take our time. I don't want to risk potentially losing it. Now, I also brought some legendary um, pheromones with me in the hopes that it might reveal the location of it. But I have seen the locations pop up without having to use the legendary pheromones. Um, so I'm thinking maybe when you get alerted is when we use it. I'm pretty sure if I use it right now, it's just going to say there's no legendary animals in the area. Uh, but let's go ahead and give it a shot here real quick. Uh, I don't know what I just stuck in my mouth, but it wasn't what I wanted to, that's for sure. You've got 10 legendary pheromones left. Let's see if anything happens. Yeah, there's no legendary animals nearby. So at least we know that, so we can kind of maybe go a little bit farther north and see what can be seen with our eyes. I'm sure there's plenty of things we need to study up here anyways. Man, Coulter is super beautiful, and we've got this fog lifting early in the morning. I don't even know if it's early in the morning right now. It's 1.46 p.m. It is not early. It was early before I got disconnected. But um, it is pretty, and it's interesting to hunt things down in this, because I can't see anything. I got excited for a second, thinking I found some foxes. Uh, but unfortunately, just a pack of coyotes staring around, probably looking for the bodies of the trolls I just had to kill. Of course, I wasn't recording it. Uh, but I was just minding my own business, and two people spawned in and decided to try and uh, hogtie me. Needless to say, they are no longer on the server. Trolls will be trolls, and more often than not, they end up being babies when they actually have somebody fight back. Oh, is this a new type of actual dynamic event up here? Folk took me and my sister. I got away, but my sister, she's still... Oh God, you gotta help me! So there's supposed to be new types of... Um, of these dynamic events available in the world now, too. There's definitely always been one up here in Coulter, but I don't remember ever finding one in Coulter that had a lady attached to it, like one of those strangers out here. Now, there was somebody in here. Oh, there he is. Whoops! Sorry, I... <laughs> I was trying to do this all super sneaky mode. Clearly, that's not going to happen now. Oh, oh, there's a guy behind me. Excuse me, sir. Hey, 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 who do you think you are? Not today, home skillet. Not today. I'll do you like I did those dirty little trolls. I might have taken five months off, but I didn't definitely get nearly as rusty as I thought I was going to be. Uh, but I guess that's what happens when you have so many thousands of hours of gameplay on a game. It comes back like riding a bicycle. Oh. Ooh, one of my weapons is pretty dirty. Excuse me, sir. There we go. Go to sleep. And I guess 
will axe or <laughs> well no he's a little too far away to be hammering him any questions nobody left alive you ain't another one of those mountain folk, are you? i'm not another one of those mountain folks i'm just trying to peacefully find a legendary fox have you seen a legendary fox anywhere oh wow you got a face only a mama could love Ooh, there's uh some cognac rum or caribbean rum here nice Oh, Adler's Ranch. Okay, I don't think this one is new. I definitely remember taking a prisoner here to Adler's Ranch previously. Ooh, a nice American red fox is approaching the bait that we put out. It's really nice. We got something else back there. Looks like it's just an elk. That's our first fox that we've seen so far. Trudging along. I have, I believe I've already gotten uh red fox samples but we might as well get another one since i got a silver fox one already too i put down a potent predator bait and i just got 57 naturalist xp out of nowhere i don't know why but i'm gonna pop one of these legendary pheromones just to see so there's still no legendary fair or legendary animals around but i something happened because of that potent predator bait I don't know what it was, though. I heard some foxes. There's a silver fox right there. Okay. Interesting. I wonder why I got that XP. Oh my god. I teleported to my camp. And there's a freaking bear here. Oh my god, it is a grizzly bear. <laughs> I set up my camp near Harriet so that in the hopes that I could fast travel to her easy. Come on, bear. Go to sleep. He's stuck in the trees. Go to sleep. Oh my god. Bear, come back! There we go. Right in the balloon knot. For the win. Hell yeah. Get that sweet, sweet grizzly bear. I believe the grizzly bear ones are worth about five bucks. Which are pretty good. We can take our sample. And then I wonder if we still get 11 XP no matter what we revive. Please don't eat me. <laughs> I learned the hard way that when you free animals from her little requests, yeah, still have an XP, that they will r eat your face, like, immediately after. It's pure evil. I want to see if she's got another mission for us, though. Oh, she is... Oh, whoa! What? She was super mad at me! She just sprayed me! Oh, no! What is she going to do? What the hell did she do? I didn't realize that if you made her mad that she would just, like, knock you out. Did she take anything from me? Does my butt hurt? What happened? Does that mean we can't... Do she kicks you out of the camp. I And I've been being good. I've been reviving tons of animals. I haven't even... I killed wolves because they were trying to kill me. Well, she... Oh, my God. She... I'll forgive you that quickly. You've got another thing coming. Oh, wow. I will certainly be keeping my eye on you. Okay. She completely locked us out. What a savage. And I've been trying to be good. I wasted all that money reviving animals for no reason. Well, on a positive note, the potent predator bait definitely works. On a not so positive note, it's not luring in anything that I want. But this might actually make for a really nice photo if we can sneak up on it. I'm going to pop one of these blending tonics. I want to see how close we can actually get with this camera. We're actually getting pretty close. We can get really close like this. wonder, can we... If we could call it and make it look at us, that would be so cool. Getting in between those trees is nice. I wish we could zoom in a little bit more, though. I think he smells us. He's looking right at us. Those little... Fo oh, yep. <laughs> we definitely spooked him that time. I mean, man, we were, like, right on top of him. We were right here, and when he got spooked, it was literally right here. So we can sneak up with those blending tonics pretty darn close. Still haven't had any luck finding that legendary animal up near Coulter. But we did pick up a new job here to murder some poachers. Which is, the worst part is, uh, the animals are going to try and eat me when I free them. But I figured I'll enter this with some nice, uh... 
some nice dynamite instead of trying to be quiet about... Oh my god, I threw it right in front of my face. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> oh, what horrible aim and luck and just everything. At least I didn't kill myself. Good god. I wonder what kind of animals we got to free. Last time it was a cougar. And it tried to eat my face after. What you want, bro? You dead, son. I got clean weapons now. I ain't trying to do this with no dirty pistols. Not this time, buddy old pal. What you want, friend? Oh, we got an old grandpa. Oh, <laughs> he's got no face now. My bad. All right, one more. Farewell, sweet prince. Oh, we got a couple more coming in hot now. Looks like they're coming in from the woods, baby. I'm pretty sure there's a bear in here. I'm going to do this the smart way. Hopefully the smart way. And stand in this when I open it. Please don't try and eat me. Please don't try and eat me. No! Bear! I just freed you! Come on! Be a good bear. Be a good bear. Stop it! You know what? I'll get your pheromones. How about that? You want to be a dirty little bear? Go to sleep. I will shoot you in the brown star. Go to sleep. Get back here, you stupid bear. Get back here! Oh my god, how is it still going? There we go. Sweet. Got that one. That was a lot of shots. Now this... Is it another bear? Oh my god, it is, isn't it? Or it's a cougar. It's either a bear or a cougar. Oh god. What is it? It's another bear! It's another bear! <laughs> Stop! Bad bear! Jesus, I freed you! Did we not even get any XP for doing that? Like, any naturalist XP? You would have thunk we would have. Go to sleep, bear. Man. Oh, you can't... Okay, we can't take samples. Thank God. It is actually really nice. Just actually taking a second and enjoying how amazingly detailed the game is again. Instead of just running around murdering everything for its pelts, there's plentiful wildlife. And you can actually just sit back and enjoy it. It's really nice. Like, before, buying this buck would have been like a Christmas miracle. And you'd be taking that to Crips right now. But instead, I can just watch it wave its little tail in the air. I think it's, it's pooping. Well, after having a bunch of deer poop in my face, I decided to move on to greener pastures. I'm now hunting the legendary boar that spawns. I, I know of a, a couple spawn points for this thing already. And uh, if I, I, I fast traveled to McFarland's Ranch because there's two spots we should be able to get this thing to spawn in. You can get it near Stillwater Creek and then up near Quaker's Cove as well. And there's always pigs spawning through here, so hopefully... If we wander around through here long enough and go from here to Coulter, we should at least get one, if not both, of these legendary animals. Well, we've been searching for about an hour and a half, and I haven't been able to find any legendary animals. But we did complete the mountain and grassland habitats, which is really easy. When you first look in this, it looks like you need to like 100% everything to finish it, but you actually don't. All you need to do to be able to get the money from this is to uh, sedate one, and get a sample from it and then sell that sample to Harriet to get it stamped. Once you get all 14 stamped, then you're going to have the option to trade in. So I'm curious how this is going to work. Um, we didn't get any money, so we can do it again already. Uh, so we got $140 and we ranked up. Ooh, 1150 naturalist XP. That is not bad. In addition to a thousand XP. Uh, so we're able to turn that in and turn it in from anywhere, which is really nice. Uh, and I've almost already got everything to get that stamped again, too, which is pretty good. Oh, snap. I was hunting a, uh, a deer, and I just saw that a legendary animal was nearby. But then I didn't realize it until I was just a little too late. I'm curious if I use this now... We should be able to get it alerted unless I spooked it away by hunting that deer. No, we didn't. We have found our first legendary animal, ladies and gentlemen. Now we just need to track this bad boy down. Mister. So we saw that it made a noise over this way, so we should be able to track it. It definitely isn't the one that we wanted. Because I, I found a really good way to actually farm up XP for this. 
which we'll get into in a few minutes, but I want to track down this legendary animal. We can probably keep using the pheromones, but I think it's going to be in here. I think it's the wolf. I haven't checked the legendary map or anything like that. Uh, let's go ahead and pop another one of these and see if we're getting any closer. I know it's kind of a waste of money to keep popping them, but... Okay, we know exactly where it is now. I actually really like this process. I know a lot of people are complaining about the spawns for the legendary animals, but it makes sense how it's working. Uh, and it's, it's similar to uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 single player, where the the legendary animals will, will occasionally be in the area. They're not going to always be there. But once you get the alert for the legendary animal, then you're able to pop that pheromone and figure out exactly where it is. So it's up over here now. It's, it's popping up slowly on the map. I think it's spooked. I don't know what it is. I haven't seen it yet. But we're going to get this bad boy. I think that's its track right there. Oh, that is it. It's the legendary Katata Elk. So we're able to track this bad boy now. And it is definitely booking it. We need our horse. This thing is going down, baby. Oh my god, it's so far away now. <laughs> Maybe it's not going to go down. If my horse doesn't catch up, we ain't never going to catch it. Dude, I just got ran over by a buck. Oh, I swear to god, if I lose this thing because of that buck, I'm going to be so upset. The thing just ran up and trucked me for no reason. All right, we're still tracking it. Oh, this thing booked it. Oh my god, there it is. Of course the audio is broken, but that is the legendary Katata Elk. Shot it right in the brown star. We sedated the legendary Katata Elk. Now I just got to wait for it to go to sleepy time. I swear to God, if you fall in the river, do not fall in the river, you stupid thing. Oh my God, go to sleep. Don't, why are you going across the river, you fool? Oh my God. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. We got it. All right. So, obviously what we're going for is the samples. So I want to be able to take the sample of this thing. And then we're going to revive it as well. I was hoping to get a picture of it. But I don't think we're going to be able to. This thing is really pretty. It's like jet black. And it's kind of got these gray white horns. I'm sure there's a specific name for it. But I really wish we could have seen this thing in the daylight. I may have stayed here like all night <laughs> and even moved it around a little bit so I could take a photo with it. Uh, but now we're going to revive this bad boy. And I would like to maybe track it down and actually photograph it afterwards. Just I kind of want to see where it goes. I think you can just kind of keep following it. There was a couple other people around here. I don't know if they would have... I'm sure if they came down, they probably would have been able to actually um, get the sample as well. Uh, but I want to get some some XP. I got to hunt down a couple more animals, and we'll go over a quick, like, grinding method for the, uh, the naturalist. So anyways, many of you were probably wondering where we found this to begin with. I was actually going from Valentine to Fort Wallace through Cumberland Forest, and I got the initial alert probably between the B and the R along the road of Cumberland Forest. Now, I'm sure it spawns in a couple other areas around here, but make sure uh, on the top left corner, if there is a legendary animal in the area, it will pop up. So just keep that in mind. Don't use your legendary pheromones unless it shows that there is a legendary animal in the area. So I figured I'd show you how I'm going to be leveling up this new roll real quick. It's Pretty simple, straightforward. All you need to do is select one set from the animal field guide that you really feel like farming up. I decided to go with the mountain and grassland habitats because I was able to find them relatively easily. Um, and I didn't really feel like farming up snakes because sometimes they can be a little bit of a struggle. And desert habitats may have been okay as well. Um, but still, just uh, I just didn't feel like doing that because the, the mountain and grassland ones seem to be relatively easy to find. And what you can do is you can actually stock up on all of these resources. And then you need to do just one simple thing. So uh, if we select into this, you can see all the ones that we farmed up so far. So I'm trying to get three to four of each uh, before I actually start turning them in. So I need to get some more American pronghorn bucks and some California Valley coyotes. 
and then a, a couple other things as well. But all you need to do is do not sell them all at the same time. What is she doing back there? There we go. Sell them one at a time because you need to fill up the stamps in the catalog to be able to get the extra uh, money and experience. But if you sell multiple at once, you don't get multiple stamps. You only get one stamp. So make sure you, even if I sold all three of these, I would only get one stamp for that. So you're going to sell one at a time uh, for the sets that you're trying to get. And then once you fill up a full stamp set, you can uh, trade that all in for a thousand XP. And you can do this multiple times at once if you save up like three or more or two or more um, of these samples. So you can stock up on the samples and then just sell them as you go and you'll be good to go. I actually need to buy more of the, or I need to pick up more of the pronghorn buck samples and the white tail deer, white -tail deer samples. Uh, but I did want to point out that you don't get multiple stamps for selling multiple things. So make sure you sell like a whole set at once and then trade it in and then sell a whole other set at once and then trade it in. You'll be able to level up really, really quickly, especially if you pick something where you're able to find the animals really easily. Half of the animals for this particular set are right around her, which is why I decided to choose this one. And as you can see, we've got it halfway filled up. We've got seven out of the 14 things already. I just need to farm up some of these uh, simpler ones, like the bison are easy to find, wild boars are easy to find. Badger is probably the most annoying one, but you can find this down near um, the uh, the Chapter 3 camp from Story Mode. And then Timber Wolves, I've been having a trouble finding as well for some reason. Even though I know they're in the Cumberland Forest, I just can't seem to get them to spawn. Maybe I'll have better luck at night. But anyways, I do hope you all enjoyed today's episode. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you want more of these legendary animal hunts, uh, make sure to hit that like button. Show the video some love. Slap it like it owes you money. And I'll see you all in the next one.